Hi Bedbrook, I've got another book for you. It's called Magnificent Creatures, Animals on the Move, and it's written by Anna Wright. So this book tells us all about different animals that live in our world. And I've chosen it because of the pictures that are inside. Sea turtles. Sea turtles have swum in our warm, tropical waters since dinosaurs roamed the land. They can live to be over a hundred years old and their bodies and shells are beautifully patterned. When it is time to lay their eggs, the female turtles return to the same nesting point where they were born, sometimes thousands of miles away. Unlike their female partners, male turtles have no reason to return to the land, which means they almost never leave the ocean. These are springboks. South African springboks are very social animals that form huge herds, sometimes tens of millions strong. When disturbed, springboks leap into the air with their legs extended in straight out, sometimes as high as four meters. This is called pronking. Springboks are one of the fastest land animals in the world. Jellyfish. Jellyfish have been swimming on the Earth's oceans for over 500 million years and can be found in seas all over the world. These creatures are beautifully translucent which means you can half see through them, half not, and, more through, and move through the water with incredible grace. If a jellyfish is cut into two, the pieces of jellyfish will survive and create two new jellyfish. Some jellyfish can even glow in the dark. Christmas Island in the Indian Ocean is home to millions of large, bright red crabs. Once a year, all the crabs migrate from their burrows inland down to the coast. They then mate and their eggs are dropped off into the sea. There are such vast numbers of these migrating crabs that it is hard for motorists to avoid them. So a large bridge and many underpasses have been built for them to cross the road safely. Zebra. Zebra cross the plains of Africa in search of places with plenty to eat, sometimes covering over 300 miles in one migration. This site is one of our planet's most awe-inspiring migrations, as well as one of the longest. Each zebra stripe pattern is unique, just like a human fingerprint. When running in a herd, their stripes act as camouflage, making it hard for predators to single out an individual. Clever stripes. In the book, they've given the zebras different patterns as well. Starlings. They're a type of bird. During winter, starlings roost together, with some roosting sites hosting over a million birds. From a distance, starlings look black, but up close you can see that their feathers are a have a glossy sheen of purple and green. Before they settle down for bed, flocks join together in a large swirling mass, creating beautiful swooping patterns in the sky. This incredible sight of thousands of birds moving together is called a murmuration. Monarch butterflies. Each autumn, beautifully vivid orange and black monarch butterflies migrate south from North America to warmer climes in Mexico. They often fly back to the very same tree as their ancestors, so their family that lived before. 
the combined weight of so many butterflies can sometimes bend tree branches. Bumblebees. Bumblebees do not live in hives, but in underground burrows. We, we value them enormously because they help pollinate the plants that we take for granted in our daily lives, such as apples, potatoes and cotton. Bees are excellent pollinators because their coats are so fluffy they pick up pollen very easily and then transfer it to other plants. Their black and yellow coats also act as a warning to predators. Stay away! No geese. Huge honking flocks of snow geese are a sign of the changing seasons. They fly from North America as far south as Mexico for winter, often travelling in a V formation to minimise the. Um, oh, sorry. Often travelling in a V formation to minimise the buffing of the wind. They will honk to encourage those at the front to keep up their speed. They also hold great affection for one another. If one gets sick or wounded, a couple of geese may drop out of the V formation to help protect it. Geese fly back to their northern breeding grounds for the summer. In fact, they spend about half of the year migrating to and from the winter and summer resting spots. Herring, they're a type of fish. When fish swim tightly together, it is called schooling. As one of the most abundant fish species, herring are also the most impress impressive fish to school, as they collect in such large numbers, up to three billion in one school. They group together like this to defend themselves from predators, as well as enhancing their chances of finding food and a mate. Imagine three billion shimmering silver herring. Magnificent. South carmine bee eaters. And they're birds. Southern carmine bee eaters nest in burrows dug into the riverbanks in Africa. As their name suggests, they mainly eat bees. They are extremely striking in appearance. Deep red feathers cover most of their bodies, but flashes of bright turquoise adorn their heads and tail feathers. These birds are also like uh, these birds also like to piggyback onto larger animals so that they have a good moving viewpoint from which to target their lunch. Fireflies. Male fireflies swarm together in their thousands in the hope of wooing a lady firefly. The male uses a mix of air and a special chemical in his body to create a flashing glow. If a female thinks a male has a, f has a flashy enough light, she will flash back. The fireflies flickering is their own language of love. So when you are next out, and about. Keep your eyes peeled for magnificent creatures, great and small. See if you can spot them wiggle, shimmer or dance. You may be amazed by what you see. We truly do live in a magical world. So that book was called Magnificent Creatures and it was written by Anna Wright. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon. Bye!